Hey church family, thanks so much for joining us for today's Daily Connection video. Uh, this week we're going to jump off into Romans chapter 6, talking about the death of Jesus and, and the truth that exists around that, and that is that um, we can be free from our sin because of the death of Jesus. And so we're going to kick off this Monday in Romans chapter 6. We're going to look at verse 5 where it says, For if we have been united with him in the likeness of his death, we will certainly also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Now, an important thing to understand about this particular verse is, is on back a couple verses before uh, we get the context of what Paul's talking about. And Paul is, Paul is actually talking about baptism. And, and for sure, uh, we need to identify with Jesus in baptism. And really, is, isn't that what, Jesus, uh, what, ver, what verse 5 is saying? That we are united with him, right? We are identifying with him in his likeness, in his death. Therefore, we are, are identifying with him in his likeness, in his resurrection. But again, it's important for us to understand he's talking about baptism here before. Um, and so, once again, uh, we identify with Christ in baptism. But the baptism that, that Paul is talking about is not, not just a water baptism. And, and a water baptism is important. I think it's important that we understand that the, the significance of water baptism. When we, uh, we baptize because we are being obedient and following the footsteps of Christ. And we baptize uh, as an outward expression of an inward reality. Inwardly, we have surrendered our life to Christ. We have accepted his free gift of grace that he has given us, and we want the world to know. Right? That's the point of a water baptism. However, what, what Paul's talking about is a baptism in Christ. Uh, and so he says, hey, if we've been baptized in Christ, then we share in his likeness, both in his death and his resurrection. Uh, and this is interesting. I, I was trying to think of a way to explain this. Our book offers a way. Um, but but I kind of kind of came up with a, a different one. If you were to 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 wrap me in red cellophane, you know, like people at Christmas time they make cookies and they use that clear plastic it's cellophane or, or, or like saran wrap, but you get red or, or green or, or whatever. If you were to wrap my whole body in that, right, real tight, um, I would experience the world through red cellophane. I would be baptized in red cellophane. How I walked, how I grabbed things, or if I could grab things, how I saw the world, everything would be in a red tent. Everything would be affected by the red saran wrap that was wrapped around my body. Um, completely and totally, it would affect every part of who I was. I could not even be the same person because of the way that that would affect me. That is what it looks like to be baptized in Jesus Christ. Well, if we are baptized in Jesus Christ, it affects every part of who we are. It affects how we see the world, how we experience the world. It affects how we respond to the world around us. It, it, it affects how we move through our world. Uh, always understanding and listening for the, the drawing of the Holy Spirit. Everything we do, if we are baptized in Christ, is done for the glory of Christ. And so we identify with him. And if, if we identify with him, then we identify in his death. Now, are, is, is Paul saying that we should go and die on a cross? Uh, it, you know, one day it, it, it could come to that and, and that, and that really is happening all over the world. There really are people who are losing their lives for the sake of the gospel. And so in a very physical, in a very literal sense, they are identifying with Christ in his death. But all of us are to identify with Christ in his death by dying to the old self. The old is gone. The new has come, right? But it says that if we identify with him in his death, then we will identify with him in his resurrection. That's the interesting thing about Christ. There are tons of people in Scripture who uh, who are resurrected. Oh, I say tons. We see people in Scripture who are resurrected, uh, but all of those who resurrected eventually died again. But Jesus Christ, he never died again. He was resurrected and never faced death, death again because he had defeated death. Not only death, he defeated sin and death, and he did it on our behalf. So when we identify with Christ, right, we have the understanding that while we may face a physical death one day, we will be resurrected and we will never face death again because we will be living in freedom, right? We will be living apart from sin, apart from death because Christ defeated it for us. So, uh, man, that is the idea behind baptism, the importance of baptism, not just a physical baptism, right? Water baptism as a representation, but being baptized in Christ, uh, allowing him to completely own every part of who we are and affect everything that we do. So uh, a couple of questions that our author offers us. The first one says, what is the significance of baptism? And again, I would just make that a two-part question. What's the significance of a water baptism, right, of, of actual physical baptism? 
And there was the importance of a spiritual baptism, a baptism in Jesus Christ. I, w- I would differentiate between those two. Uh, one doesn't necessarily happen when the other happens, right? We can be baptized in Christ before we are baptized in, in physical water. So let's differentiate. What's the significance of these two baptisms? And then the second question, how does your life prove that you've identified with Jesus? Does your life prove that you've identified with Jesus? Can, do people look at you and, and, and see that you uh, identify with Jesus based on how you live? Church family, I hope that you can work through those questions. Uh, some of those are kind of difficult questions, especially that second one to walk through. Hope you'll hope you'll do it honestly um, and, and not just gloss over, but, but really and truly work and, and look, be introspective and see how do I de- identify with Christ? Um, Church family, we love you and we're praying for you.